Okay, I'm going to read something, well, sort of to a point where a couple went to the movie theater at the Fiesta in Henderson. After they bought their tickets of popcorn, the ticket girl says, after all the recent shootings, I have to check your purse for a weapon, meaning after all the theater shootings. This was a little disturbing to me because I'm not sure for some reason, because I'm not sure for the reasons so, some may, may think. The most recent shootings have been men, yet she sh didn't search my husband. I'm a concealed carry with a permit and a concealed carry purse. But I opened my purse and said I have a weapon. She laughed and said, all women can say their purse is a weapon. So if they're really trying to make people feel safe and they're only checking half the people and wouldn't you follow up on someone who says they have a weapon? And something I'm missing here, obviously, because further down the posting, she mentioned that she had a concealed carry purse and it was a zipper holster in there. And all the person did was take a glance and did not see a weapon, so they let her through. And it doesn't mention whether, does it mention whether her husband is carrying also? Let's see here. But I opened my person up. Let's see here. No, nope. I read it on there, but she said she had a purse with a pocket in there. That's a zipper that concealed her weapon. And all they did was glance at it. Now, what I think about this rule, the recent shootings, come on, camera focus, is it's stupid, and it's going to get the people who ask those questions killed. And here's the reason why. If somebody's going to go in, if somebody went to a movie theater with the intent of killing as many as they could, like all they've done, like they've done every time, I hate to break this to you, but the only people who are going to walk away from the person asking that are people who are open carrying or law abiding citizens who made the mistake of having their weapons or I can still carry who made the mistake of putting their weapon where it can be seen. Now when I walk, I, every theater I walk into I'm carrying, but you cannot tell. And the reason I say this policy is stupid is because say somebody walks up, buys your ticket, and that's the other thing. They bought their ticket, they bought their popcorn, they moved, pay, pay for the movie ticket, then they check for a gun. So if they would have turned them away, then, well, they owe them a refund. But, if someone was going there to do harm with a firearm of any kind, they had, say they had a bag because they had a rifle with it. I mean, you don't really need to uh, all that much to carry a handgun. But say they had a bag with a rifle in it. And the lady says, I need to check that for a weapon. Well, you know what? If that guy was there to do harm, guess who's the first person getting killed? The person wanted to check that bag. So in a sense, they made a policy that's going to get their employees killed. Now, unfortunately, most of the ig people ignorant to how rules and laws work, that would not deter somebody who's going there to cause bodily harm. Matter of fact, they would just start the shooting earlier. So for all these theaters who are going to check the bags because of recent shootings, it, just say you didn't, don't actually do it because you'd be the first one killed if they plan on causing a, causing a lot of damage. They kill you, they continue on to the movie, start shooting whoever. Because we all know it'll take a few, it'll take a while for the for police to arrive. So whoever made that policy, you really need to rethink that because you're just going to get your employees killed. And I know it's not, I know your heart's in the right area, but you're worried about going to try to fix the problem. You're, you're just not thinking right. And I'm pretty sure the people in there didn't make that policy. Pretty sure higher management did who don't visit the theater. So there's no chance of them getting shot. But it, that's, that has got to be the stupidest thing I've freaking heard of. And I read it out of one of my gun groups on Facebook. And it's here in Vegas. Like I said, at Fiesta Theater in Henderson. So if I ever walked in there, they can't tell I'm concealing. And my wife doesn't own a gun, so that wouldn't matter. But the point is, you don't ask people if they have a weapon, because, like I said, if there's a sociopath that's going to start killing people, congratulations, you're the first one dead. Hope I'm so glad the policy helped them for that one. But anyways, that's all I've got to say. I just figured I'd make this video, since I haven't made any in a while. It just they know the hell out of me when they make a policy that's going to get employees killed. Because we all know the employees aren't going to be allowed to have guns to protect themselves. I mean, come on. You you wait till the people buy their crap, then ask that question. So if they get insulted and want to leave, I'm pretty sure you're not going to refund them. 
Because the only time people ever get refunded is during a crappy movie. They were probably, they were probably trying to get some stupid ass gift certificate or something. But still, it's, it's a stupid policy. I mean, come on, think about this. And that's pretty much all I have to say on that. I'm sure anybody who has anything else to say on it is more than welcome to comment on my videos or add something. But like I said, every theater that actually does have a gun, uh, no weapons assigned, I walk right in. I don't care. I'm not taking the chance. But yeah, let, let, it's, it's just stupid. Anyways, that's it. Come and take it if you want it. Come and take it if you think you can. Come and take it, but we'll warn you. You'll have to pry from our cold dead hands. We want the freedom that God gave us. So you best not cross that line. If you want this gun, you gotta come through us and take it. One shot at a time.